Well, meth, as we know, it is a growing problem here in Maine, but the state DEA is hoping that a new federal grant will help stop it in its track. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is live now in the studio with a closer look at why this grant is so crucial for preventing the drug from becoming an epidemic. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, Erin and Megan. So far this year, 31 labs have been discovered in the state. That's up from 20 all of last year, and law enforcement officials say they expect the number to continue to grow unless it is taken seriously. Maine's DEA director says that's why a $900,000 grant awarded to the federal government awarded by the federal government is so important. Roy McKinney says some states in the Midwest and Southeast discover hundreds and even thousands of labs every year. He says Maine has limited resources compared to those states and could find itself in a similar situation if action isn't taken now. We're trying to stop it in its tracks and uh, we've put uh, a, a great deal of resources. We've been fortunate in that we have received uh, federal grants uh, from the community oriented policing services uh, that has provided equipment, training, and monies to investigate and dismantle uh, labs, as well as monies for the prevention. McKinney says they're still in the process of deciding how to best allocate the $900,000 grant, but it will be used for identifying, investigating, and prosecuting those responsible. Coming up tonight at 5.30, I'll introduce you to a company that cleans up after meth labs are discovered, and I'll tell you why they say more needs to be done to protect Maine families from the dangerous chemicals that can remain in a home long after meth was made there. In the studio, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.